Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mayuri Sock channel. So from this video or from this tutorial, we are going to start advanced Java programming concept one by one. In the previous video, we have just seen the over of all the chapters which are for advanced Java programming for which there is an online examination. So the first chapter was the abstract window toolkit. So in this video, just I'm going to tell you, uh, we are going to see briefly somewhat what exactly is the abstract window toolkit. So, in the previous language that is Java, you have come over or seen somewhat or you are very familiar to AW2. But what exactly is the concept? So, we will see here. So, here we will see an introduction to AW2, which is nothing but which stands for Abstract Window Toolkit. Now, Java AWT is an API to develop GUI or window bust application. As I told in the previous video, here in the advanced Java, we are going to create a GUI, which is nothing but the graphical user interface. That means using the Java AWT, which is nothing but the API that is application programming interface to develop a GUI. Now, what is a GUI? That is graphical user interface. So, let me give you an example. Suppose there is a registration form. As registration form, there will be the username, password, there many things will be the button, login, submit, or logout. These all the things are there on the registration form. Suppose there is a user who is filling the registration form, right? Now, he is filling the registration form. He is entering his name, password, or whatever the uh, things are that required, he is filling that form. As he is filling that form, or what exactly he is saying, that is a GUI. That is graphical user interface. As he's filling the form, he's also interacting with a programming language. So whatever the text field are there, button are there, whatever the contents are there on that graphical user interface that we are going to create using AWT, which is nothing but abstract window toolkit. So the next point is Java AWT components are platform dependent. So here it's very important. Whatever the AWT components are there. Now here I am saying the components. And here components are nothing but button, text fill, then other the label. This all are which are the controls. They are nothing but the component. And whatever I told here the component, they are nothing but the classes of AWT. In the previous video I had told that AWT contain number of classes, number of methods. So these classes are these classes or the controls or the components are the classes which comes under AWT. And these components, these controls are platform dependent. Now why platform dependent? So there are two reasons. Now here platform dependent means, suppose I have made the program of AWT using the controls on Windows operating system. So there I execute. Suppose I go on the Linux, so that look and feel will be changed or will be compatible to that Linux operating system. That means whenever you change the operating system or whenever you run on the another software or hardware, it will be compatible as per that software or the hardware. And hence it is platform dependent. And what's the second reason? Here I told the component, which are nothing but button, text field, label. These are made with C and C++ languages. And hence, as we know, they are platform dependent languages. So that's the reason they are platform dependent. Now what is third point? That is AWT is heavy weight. Means whatever the components are there, they are heavy weight. Now what's the reason that heavy weight? Heavy weight in the case that whatever the memory is required for this button or text fit is more. So the AWT is heavy weight. Just note down this point because such type of MCQs comes. Now next is the Java dot AWT package provide classes for AWT. This is very important. Throughout the whole chapter, we are going to use these packages. You have somewhat idea about packages. What is packages? It's nothing but a collection of classes and interface. So for this AWT, we are going to use Java dot AWT, which provides the classes for building AWT components and just Java dot AWT is one of the largest package in the Java that is in advanced Java. So this was the overview of AWT. And if you have any question, you can mention in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.